Never take for granted the love and the care that a good man gives to you that was way better than what the last man did. You know what? When I was scrolling on Facebook and I came across this very viral post, I was honestly disgusted. And this is why so many of these good quality men out here are checked out and done. They're not dealing with it. Y'all don't value them. Y'all don't care about them. You're only thinking about the guy that you really want to be with, which was the guy that dogged you out which was the guy that cheated on you, disrespected you, neglected you. Some of y'all are so toxic that y'all genuinely get some kind of satisfaction or thrill out of chasing these type of guys and making them act right. And y'all need to really grow up. Because like I said, y'all are turning a lot of the good quality men very cold. To where it's like, man, just forget all of these chicks. They're all the same. They don't appreciate you. They don't value you. They don't respect you until you're ready to throw them away. And it's rightfully so. But let's get into it, y'all. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and do an overlay on the screen so you all can read along with me. Um, I tried to do it in a video format, but it just looked way too small. So I'll go ahead and put it on the screen for you all. That way you all can read along with me. But let's just go ahead and get right into this because there's so much to break down, okay? So it says, imagine this. Imagine being eight months pregnant and the night before your doctor's appointment, your husband takes you out on a nice date. Real fancy restaurant got your favorite flowers, a necklace, a new charm bracelet, comfy new slippers, perfume, etc. All to end up leaving you the very next morning, 30 minutes before your appointment time. Now, when I read that, I'm like hooked. Like, well, what the hell happened? You had your, your dream night, your dream date, and then your husband leaves you and you're eight months pregnant. What happened? So let's continue. It says, backstory. I met this man a few years ago and off rip, he treated me like a queen. Let's continue. Our very first date was a night out in front of the lake. He was everything I ever wanted my ex to be. Red flag. It says, I've always acknowledged my appreciation for him and everything he has done. He has never cheated, rubs my feet and belly faithfully, legit caters to me and my every need and want. So again, like, what's the problem? Is this guy not everything that you all swear up and down that you need a man to be? He's treating you like a queen, aka a prize. He's, you know, taking you out on romantic dates. You know, he's catering to you like, what more could you want? And yet, even still with all of that going on, this chick here with her low down trash behind is thinking about her ex. But let's continue. It says, fast forward. While we were on our date, I snapped pictures and videos of everything and sent them to my ex. Oh my gosh. Can we pause for a second? Because a lot of women get so confused as to why men become so irritated when they are out on dates and every other second this woman is, you know, screen recording, video recording, Snapchatting, all this other nonsense when it comes to, you know, the date that they're out on. And it's like, can you put your phone away? Can you put your phone up? You know, and it's like, what's the big deal? I just want to capture the, the scene. I just want to capture the moment and all of that. Well, the reason why is because of instances just like this. A lot of y'all are not even caring about what that man is doing for you. You're not even caring about that man in general. 
It's all about how you can show off. It's all about how you can make yourself look better in the eyes of somebody else. It's all about making somebody else jealous. Like a lot of y'all are just not really um, thinking about how magical that moment is or how magical it should be. So that can raise a lot of eyebrows and make a lot of men very skeptical when every other second you're in your phone, you know, you're posting videos, you're, you're posting pictures and you're not really, you know, in the moment with him. But that's why some of these chicks, fellas, that y'all are out on dates on, they're only on those dates to make their ex jealous. They don't care that you spent all of this money on them. They don't care that, you know, you were being very thoughtful in your approach, very thoughtful in, you know, the environment where you took them to. They don't care. It's about, oh, this is so nice. I can post this on social media and make my friends jealous, make my ex jealous, show off to the world that, you know, I have this man doing X, Y, and Z for me. But it's never about her appreciating him. It's never about you ladies appreciating that guy that is going above and beyond for y'all. And that's what makes y'all trash. And that is also why a lot of men do not date. And when they do date, it's free dates or cheap dates. Because do you even appreciate it anyway? A lot of y'all even don't even remember these guys' names. Y'all even call them back. And she's doing this to her whole husband. <laughs> So if she's doing this to her whole husband, can you imagine what these other females are doing out here with guys that they are not seriously involved with? Come on now. Let's wake up. That's crazy. But let's continue, y'all. I'm sorry. It says, um, fast forward, while we were out on our date, I snapped pictures and videos of everything and sent them to my ex. I shared how I wish it was him who did these things for me. How it was him I should have been pregnant for. Oh, that is the ultimate disrespect. And how I wish he loved me, how I still love him. And maybe one day we could come back from this. My husband saw these messages. OMG. <laughs> Good for him. I am so glad she got caught. Oh my goodness. I am so glad that she got caught because here's the thing. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. A lot of y'all are out here currently wasting a man's time, money, resources, love, support, energy, everything. Y'all are wasting a man's life right now today that you don't give a damn about. And he does not even know it. So I'm glad that this brother at least caught her red-handed you know, sending all of these text messages and all these pictures to this guy and, and letting him know exactly what his position is in her life. She clearly does not love him. She clearly does not like him. Everything that he's doing is in vain. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine going above and beyond for somebody and the whole time they're wishing that you were somebody else? Like the ultimate slap in the face with this whole thing is the fact that she said, I still love you. And I hope that one day we can come back from this. That taught that man everything that he needed to know. She is still holding on to hope, holding on to love with her ex. So that already is telling her current husband, like, dude, she don't love you. She don't even, she wish that you were somebody else. She's fantasizing about having somebody else's baby. Like so much, I'm sorry to go off like this, but so much would be entering into my mind if I were this chick's husband and I'm reading these text messages about how she's still deeply in love with another man and how she pretty much wished the life that I was able to give to her, he was in my shoes and he was doing it for her. Like, when we're getting it in, are you thinking about him? 
You know what I mean? When when I'm doing romantic things for you, like, are you in the back of your mind wishing it was like everything that I have, had ever done for that woman, I would question. And that is not a good place to be in. That is not a good mind frame, a good emotional state whatsoever to be in when you're having to really question your whole entire life. It's really tragic. It's really sad. It was all in vain. The whole time she was wishing and waiting for the other man to do that. It goes on to say, though, now I know it was wrong, but I love my husband and don't want to lose him over stupid texts and hormones. Girl, please. This goes way deeper than stupid text messages and hormones. Please don't blame your deep feelings and your lack of love for your husband okay on you being pregnant like let's stop you have deep feelings for your ex and no feelings for real for your husband and it's seeming like you're only with your husband for the security aspect but we're going to continue okay it says i didn't mean those things i'm just pregnant and emotional how can i give my husband back he has packed all of his things and some of mine and left. And good for him. Okay, good for him. Good for that man for having um, respect for himself. You know, and I got to go there for a second. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. A lot of women today are not accustomed to men actually having boundaries and having standards and having respect for themselves, especially if he is a quote unquote good guy or nice guy. A lot of females, unfortunately, equate a man being a good man to being a pushover, to being a doormat, to being, you know, somebody that I can always save for later and come back to uh, whenever I feel like it. But a lot of these chicks today are starting to slowly but surely see that we're dealing with a new breed of men, okay? They're not going to just allow a woman to use them, to take advantage of them and ultimately disrespect them. You know, yes, I'll love you. I'll value you. I'll take care of you. I'll cater to you. I'll do all of the necessary things that a man is quote unquote supposed to do for a woman, but you have to be deserving. You know what I mean? I'm not going to allow a woman to just take advantage of me and me be okay with it just because I love her or just because we're married, or just because, you know, we have a baby or whatever. No. The moment that these men see that you are a liability, that you are the ops, oh, you're out of there, okay? So it, there's no more nice guy that just tolerates disrespect, neglect, um, being taken advantage of, being taken for granted. Those days are dead, okay? And so now these women are starting to see that and they're trying to hang on for dear life for these good guys and good men to come back and, you know, forgive them. But no, the forgiveness element is also something that is long gone when it comes to the disrespect piece. No, you have one time to show me that you're not somebody that is faithful. You're somebody that's not loyal. You're somebody that, you know, is just trash. And I'm going to throw you out just like the trash that you are. You know, I'm not recycling anything. We're dealing with a new breed of men to where they're not recycling. You're thrown away forever. You show me your hand and that's what it is. But let's continue. And fellas, y'all let me know, have you ever been in this type of situation to where, you know, you were dealing with a woman and you felt like you were giving her everything that you feel a, a, a woman needs and deserves and all of that. And come to find out, she didn't even like you like that. You know, she was secretly waiting around for the next man or the last man. Y'all let me know. Have you ever been through that type of situation? I will have a poll in the chat for you all to take. And y'all let me know how y'all dealt with that um what you did did you bounce back from it did you go back to her did you leave her in the dust what happened with that but let's continue so now i have on the screen um her pictures and as you all can see you know it was liked by a whole bunch of different people it's shared by a whole bunch of different people and she's looking you know 
pretty distraught about it all. But let's continue because there is more. So now I should have on the screen the text message, the text thread that she had between her and her husband that left her because he was not, you know, going to tolerate that amount of disrespect. But this is what it says. It says, baby, please don't do this. I didn't mean those things. I was in a weird place. I love you. I love you more than anything. Please don't do this to me and our baby. So her husband responds and he says, that's if that baby is even mine. It says, I'll have the divorce papers delivered to you. Wow. If the baby is mine, I'll also be taking my daughter with me. You don't deserve my seed and you won't take my daughter's mind. I'll be in the hospital when you give birth, but only to get my DNA test. <laughs> Ladies, these men are not playing games with y'all. The moment that you screw up and you blow it, that's a wrap, baby girl. Especially, you know, considering the extremity of the situation, the severity of the situation. And I'm going to be honest, this right here is major. Like, like I said, I stand in complete solidarity with this brother because this was the ultimate disrespect. You give this woman your last name. You give this woman your love, your devotion, your dedication, you know, your attention, your nurturing. You give her everything. And the whole time she's just thinking about her ex. The whole time she's wishing that you were her ex like. Yeah, I would have did the same thing. Salute to him. Uh, it says, I'll be at the hospital when you give birth, but only to get my DNA test. I hope you remain healthy and stay blessed. You're free to work out your confusion. Goodbye, Ty. And I guess her name is Ty, okay? Uh, so she responds and she says, baby, please, OMG, I'm not confused. I was at first, but that's before I was on the verge of losing you. I don't want to lose you, please. Now, that's very telling to me. And to me, the reason why that's very telling is because she's essentially saying that she did not value him and appreciate him until she saw that he was serious about leaving her in the dust. That's not somebody that really values you and, and cares about you. You know, that's somebody who, again, is only there out of necessity. She knows now or she can see clearly now that you were her safety net. You were the one that was coming through, saving her, rescuing her. Her ex can't do what you have been doing for her. You know, that was a fantasy. That was a dream. But the reality of the situation is the fact that, yeah, he's not here. He's not rubbing my feet. He's not taking care of me. He's not, you know, the father of my child. He's not here to give me the security and stability that I need. So, yeah, I'm fearful because that safety net is being stripped away from me. It's not that I love you so much. It's not that I care about you so much. And that's why I'm, I'm begging for you to stay. No, I'm begging for you to stay because without you, I have nothing. You know what I mean? And to me, that's very disingenuous. That's very fake. And this is why these men are cutting y'all off. They're not dealing with y'all. You know what I mean? Like she essentially said, I'm not confused anymore. And I get it now because now I see that without you, I have nothing. And so, you know don't leave me because then I'll be stranded. I'll be broke and I'll be on the streets and back to the streets begging and pleading. Like that's what it's given. I was confused before you let me know that you would leave me <laughs> like what? So he responds and he says, just stop. The damage is done. And so am I. Ouch. It says you hurt me deep with this, my, but lesson learned. I'll never trust another. Damn. It says, no need to beg. Keep the energy you had sending those messages last night. And then she responds and she says, what am I going to do without you? See what I'm saying? Do y'all see what I am saying? This chick 
It's only fearful of the fact of I will not have, you know, my safety. I will not have the security that I need. You know, that's why I want to be with you so bad. I want to be with you so bad because you are the safe guy, but you're not the ideal guy. You're the man that I just, you know, get by with, if that makes any sense, right? You give me the predictability. You give me the security, stability. I cannot stress enough. That is on our nature as women to look for those things. And so if you come across a guy that is able to, you know, give you those things, you're more than likely, especially in a tight spot, you know, you're more than likely to latch on to him because he's going to make you feel secure in that way. But is he the man that you really want to be with? No. You know, and like I said, unfortunately, we're dealing with a, a, a whole breed of women today to where we are toxic. We are dysfunctional. And we would love to say that we're not, but we are. You know, we like a particular type of guy, the guys that dog us out, the guys that um, keep us on our toes in the most toxic of ways. They are the ones that we chase. They are the ones that excite us. And y'all need to do that internal work to figure out why that is. But that is a thing. And before you know it, you're out here turning these good men cold because they did let their guards down with you. They did be a lot more open and honest and vulnerable with you. And so now they're really in this mode of why even be a good guy? Why even be a nice guy? Why even be a man uh, that a lot of these women swear up and now they want you to be when in all actuality they're still fiending over the guy that dogged them out you know what i'm saying and then the the whole underlying message and tone of her text messages is essentially saying you know i need you to, to survive not that i love you not that i really care about you and i really honor you and cherish you but Without you, I'm losing my livelihood. It's very much so giving, I'm getting cut off from food stamps. <laughs> I'm getting cut off from, you know, Section 8, government assistance. That's what that guy was to her. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of good quality men are to these women of today. Not all of the women. Salute to the women that, you know, understand that men are to be valued and appreciated and respected and all of that salute to y'all but i gotta be honest enough to admit that the bulk of a lot of women out here are just like this chick you know they're using these guys to get through the day to get through life but if they had the opportunity to choose that guy that dogged them out in exchange for this guy that is doing the most for her absolutely believe it that she would swap them out in a heartbeat the only difference was the guy that dogged me out is not giving me like i'm gonna keep saying that stability and security that this guy over here is able to give to me so that's on that's the only reason why i'm really here but i'm not really in love with him like that and that's where y'all just keep dropping the ball you know and y'all don't realize what y'all have until it is too late you know now, I hope that this guy, you know, does not allow this chick to turn him off from, you know, good quality women. You know what I mean? I hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, ladies, y'all know who to blame. Blame yourselves. Blame each other. A lot of y'all don't even hold each other responsible or accountable for these actions. Y'all say, oh, well, too bad, so sad. Get over it. You're a man deal with it you but you don't ever tell that woman sis that's effed up that's messed up y'all don't never check this type of behavior and so a lot of y'all end up missing out as well because of unchecked behavior you didn't check home girl when she was out here dogging out good quality men now these good quality men in bulk are like screw relationships screw marriage like he married her. He he gave her everything that she swore up and down that she wanted and needed and desired in a man. She just didn't want it in him. She wanted it in the guy that was dogging her out. But y'all don't chin check that. Y'all don't correct that. Y'all let that coast by and skate by. And then y'all complain that a lot of these good men, you know, 
don't want to settle down anymore. They don't want to get married anymore. They don't want to start families anymore. Would you? Anyway, y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, and feedback about this down in the comments below. Fellas, have y'all gone through any type of situation that was similar to this? What did you do about it? Did you bounce back from it? Did you find a better woman or did you just check out? I hope you all didn't just check out, but I do understand and see how you could. But yeah, ladies, use this as a cautionary tale of what not to do. Let's appreciate the men that are appreciating us, okay? Much love and peace to my crown head.